Bladesmiths, welcome to our strength test. I'm gonna take each of your blades, and I'm gonna repeatedly and brutally beat them into this antler. I wanna see what the antler's gonna do to your blades. Devin, you're up first, you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. I came here to test myself with an extreme challenge, and now it's up to the test to see if I met and exceeded those expectations. Ooh. Well, Devin, we got a little issue on the edge here. Didn't so much chip out, it more rolled, but it stayed straight, and those seams that you fixed stayed together. So good job there. Thank you. Mike, how you feeling? Good. Let's do this. OK. I have my concerns about the testing. My blade is much lighter than the other two blades, but Bigger is not always better. OK, Mike, your knife did survive, but we got a few issues. You had a little bit of a warp before. Yep. Now it's a good bend in the blade. And your blade seams have opened up. So Trevor, you look excited. I'm really critical of my blades. I always see every flaw, so I'm worried about catastrophic failure. All right, Trevor, we've got an issue. You've got a, quite an extreme roll here. And you can see right in the middle here, in that roll, it started to split as well. You had an issue before with your Sanmai not being connected all the way, you can hear it. That's opened up more, and there's a spot down here, too. Your handle is on the large side, but I like the way you contoured it. My hand just kind of locks into place, but the edge is definitely an issue. Now it's time for the sharpness test. Doug? Well, bladesmiths, this is a sharpness test. This is all about what the edge of your blade will do to these hands. Devin, you're up first. You ready for this? I'm ready, sir. Let's do it. Nice. All right, Devin, the angle you have for this lends itself to be a very nice slicer and chopper. You have a very long handle here, so I have to choke up on that. But it does come to a curve so I can hold on to it. Overall, it will cut. All right, Mike, time for some Canadian bacon. You ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. All right, Mike, your blade does not seem to have an edge on it. The important thing about knives is knives were made to cut. Unfortunately, Mike, your blade did not cut. All right, Trevor, it's time. Ready for this? Yes, sir. The edge damage on my blade is pretty significant, so I'm worried my knife might not make the cut. All right, Trevor, because you have a thinner blade here, it took a lot of damage on the strength test. But these parts right here are razor sharp. That kind of geometry is able to cut cleanly through the ham. Because your blade, sir, will cut. Thank you. Good job. Bladesmiths, the judges have given me their final decision. It's time for one of you to leave the forge. Mike, your blade didn't make the cut. First up, thank you for coming down and giving a great effort in what is one of our hardest challenges. Coal Forge, Sanmai, In the Sun. All of the blades took damage in the strength test, but your blade can't cut. And for that reason, we have to send you out. Please surrender your blade. I got the boot. I uh, concentrated on keeping a blunt edge so it would survive the uh, bone chop, but I guess I kept it too blunt. 
I'm proud of the way I performed while I was here, so I'm going home without any regrets. <laughs>